Now to a story we've been following for more than a month. A forklift soldier, Richard Halliday, nowhere to be found for more than 70 days. Tonight, we share his family's journey to find him. A mother. Going into the city of uh, Juarez. A father. Because we have some leads of where Richard may be. I'm looking for my grandson. A grandfather. Okay. A family searching for missing four plus soldier Richard Halliday. The soldier now missing for over 70 days. Patricia Halliday desperate to find her son. We love you. We miss you. Come home. Richard Halliday, just 21 years old. Richard was born in Poland. Uh, we adopted him when he was about five years old with his brother, who was almost eight at the time. We brought him home, and um, I have to remind myself that they're adopted. His mother describing him as intelligent and talented. Likes to play the piano. Um, loves the outdoors. Loves the outdoors. Richard Halliday was always so independent, his parents say, so much so that he decided he would join the service. He was number one in basic training, uh, received a $500 award for that, which we were like, Four yay! Yeah. Patricia Halliday says her son excelled and even loved being deployed. He became an E4 very quickly and went to Qatar. But after getting back from deployment, the COVID-19 pandemic hit and things changed. 36 days went by, we didn't hear from him. Something the parents say Richard would never do. Richard's father calling for bliss only to find out his son was gone. 36 days, what do we do? Where do we go? You know, 36 days. Worthless telling the family the soldier went AWOL or absent without leave. They say the military never reached out to them. To, it took like two days to think things through, start calling people. Hey everybody, here I am. I'm at the Cassidy Gate. The family didn't waste any time. Uh, live feeding, so that hashtag find Richard Halliday. Soon after, they arrived in El Paso from their hometown of Florida and got to work. El Paso has really embraced us. God bless you. When I asked the family what gives them the strength to keep searching, Patricia Halliday points to another family of another missing soldier. Your courage. Vanessa Guillen. Domino affected on us to find ourselves. At least you can find some closure and peace um, by finding her. Yeah. The family says they'll continue to do whatever it takes, even if it means going to the ends of the earth. Anything to find their son. And we did reach out to Fort Bliss to find out if there is any evidence Richard Halliday actually left the base on his own. We were referred to the Army's Criminal Investigation Division. And after sending them several emails, we still have not heard back. For more on the soldier's disappearance and how you can help the family, visit KTSM.com.